I don't think most people actually understand what it means to work exceptionally hard to where you don't have time to eat dinner and you have to cut your workout short and you have to stop doing the things that otherwise you need to do because you are hyper obsessing over crafting what you need to get done. And the past few days, we've been working at least from the second you wake up to the moment you go to sleep, having to finish the workout that is you're crushing it on early because you got to do more work. And it's now super late or 830, which feels super late because even you're working since whenever you wake up, it is remarkable how you just have to block out everything at some points. And that has the massive highs and the lows, like the highs of when the new idea sparks and the optimism rises to the extreme lows of seeing, holy shit, there's no progress being made. What is this feeling like, PJ, to you? Like, this is only a few days into it, but it makes me think, or a lot of the times, how hard I don't work or how little effort I actually put into things and how much effort is needed to have exceptional results. Yeah, well... It makes me excited in the first place, just because, like I said to you yesterday, well, there's a North Star that we're aiming at. Um, and, but, you know, it, it once you do start to look further into the thing that you want to do, like earlier, um, we are doing a little bit of research just before we hopped on this on, on the skill that we're trying to learn. And... We're just like, fuck, fuck. You know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, holy crap. These guys, you know, the people who are professional in it are so far ahead or they're just bringing out things that you, you don't even, you weren't even thinking about. You didn't think it was going to be a challenge in the first place. Um, so it widens your eyes to the actual work that you're going to have to put into it. Even when you're already working hard to do it, uh, but I think what it comes down to is asking yourself, well, is this something worth doing? Is this something worth putting the time into? And, you know, if you really are certain that what you're doing is something that you want to do and it's worth putting in the effort, then I think that's what can help you get through it. Yeah. And right when I started to feel overwhelmed with how difficult this is going to be, and I'll go into what it is that we're doing in a minute, I came to the realization of, because it's so hard, the barrier to entry is so exceptionally high. So if you are the best person at this, you will never have to worry about money ever. And so right now, what I do is I help large brands uh, or, or not large. Well, they usually they are uh, large businesses sell their products online by helping them grow their YouTube and other social medias. And the first stage of that, the, the easiest low hanging fruit to help someone grow their social media is help them come up with a better idea, help them structure a basic understanding of what the video is going to be about with the hook, the title, the thumbnail. That is the very basics of, of what needs to be done. Now it is the extreme cinematic experience to where people leave the video saying, wow, and th th uh, this was the best thing I've ever seen. I don't want to watch anything unless it is from this person. And then you become hyper obsessed with who that person is. And so this is, it is remarkably difficult. It's hard to even articulate uh, how many nuances go into this and, and how there's probably for every single video, the one person who I always talk about is this guy, Ken McElroy that I'm working with. And if we can really get this down, there's nobody in the business space that is doing anything even, that even compares to this. And I'm going to be experimenting this with my own channel, because when you learn a skill, you first have to try it and fail and, and do a bunch of different things before you do it for someone else. And so you guys will see, uh, we are going to make some very in-depth kind of short films around business concepts because that's always what I think about all day, every single day. And you'll see the progression of how we are learning these things. And it is remarkably difficult, but also very exciting and, and remarkably rewarding on a multitude of levels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think also something that I thought of when you asked me the question is, well, how do you, how do you feel um, when, when you're hyper obsessed on something new like this? And I think, you know, when it comes to not even having the dinner or so or having to having to make those sacrifices of like ending your workout when you're enjoying it or maybe even going to do something else that was on your mind. Um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know what he said there. But, um, <laughs> that's what I was thinking too. Uh, okay, keep going. 
um, when you're when you are hyper obsessed on it, I think you know it's because you you're trying to get steps ahead and you're you're just you're dialed in, you're focused, so you're just kind of doing whatever it takes to get to that next step forward to get you you know to start being able to produce what you want to produce and if the like the skill that we're learning uh if we could really like get professional at it, at it like these people that we're uh learning from then it just the imagination runs wild with like wow what can we actually create or even help other people create you know with a skill do you think that you usually would like would work hard in your normal life after seeing what hard work's really like and this isn't even working hard yet this is just learning which is not the execution process yeah yeah. Like, do you think in your life before this, you were actually working hard? Um, no, just because of how, how, yeah, how, how much I'm seeing what working hard actually manifests, like, like when, you know, it's out on the, the in the videos or whatever piece of content, so, or what's being made. Uh, and you, you realize, wow, there's so much more work that's put into this. And you look back onto the, the things you did and what that actually ended up manifesting as. And it's like nothing. Yeah. And then it comes down to finding these skills that have asymmetric upside. This is something that you have to think about. How much demand is this for the marketplace? Well, people always want more customers for any business that they have. And if you can get them more customers, you can make as much money as you possibly want. So this is one of the steps to help them get more customers by telling a, the best story of their business as humanly possible to where people want to purchase the price. And all views are our potential customers. So if you can help 100x someone's views, you should be able to set up these backend conversions and do all these other extra things to help them get more customers. But it really comes down to the eyeballs. So this is where you're mastering that kind of nuanced skill. And so as attention is becoming harder and harder to grab, getting becoming the best at it is how you become mega mega rich just think about the young people who are super super rich today most of them are online on social media who are the most successful people right now it's someone like mr beast who's whatever 25 years old worth a billion dollars that can sell any product in the world because he has the eyeballs and the attention and so you can use this on every single facet of, of life uh but anyway this is it, it is going to be a remarkable journey and so you can either choose to work your entire life giving it kind of half-assed effort being told what to do or just spend an enormous amount of time, but to, to, to never really have to worry again. There's also the external benefits you get from learning something new, like that you didn't even expect to come with it. Like now that we're doing this and I'm learning more about storytelling and stuff. Um, you get introduced to these new concepts or, Oh, there's a whole art behind this that I never even knew about. Yeah. And, you know, I'd like to know about this. You know, why didn't I? Why didn't I get learn this and well, I get taught this when I was in school? Like this is actually Useless. super important. Yeah. You like the more you start to learn in the real world and provide value to the marketplace and start to make money, you realize how useless school is and that, like how utterly unimportant it is because it has zero market as to how much money you're gonna make if you have your own business. If you want a job. And you want to work for someone else then I, I don't i mean maybe school will help you get a job maybe for some reason but the, it is not going to help you start a business i don't like there's just there's no way the pythagorean theorem would, would help you with this or with anything like like why just just like how does that make you money and that's what i care about and this is going to be some epic shit. so i hope Hopefully have time for dinner, but I'm exhausted. I might just skip it because the maid will be back in the morning just for extra steak. But now we're low on protein, so fuck. Maybe just a milk challenge. Yes, we gotta drink a bag of milk. Milk before. challenge, but we only have three bags of milk left, and we we're supposed to. This was supposed to last us the end of the week. <laughs> we got six yeah. bags of milk yeah. yesterday. We're down to three today. So it's gonna be absurd the amount of milk we buy from this. Uh, supermarket so i'm forecasting in i don't know what today is like 250 out of a thousand in like 200 days from now 
you guys are going to see some of the best videos you've ever seen in your entire life on this. And that's going to correlate to how much I can grow my business. So fuck off. <laughs> <laughs>